everyone and welcome to drawing prompt number 31. Today's aunt is very surprised by something and I guess you'll have to wait until the next prompt to find out why. Alright, let's get into the drawing. And whoopsie! <laughs> and we have egg hatching and wristwatch. Okay, those are pretty weird, so let's see what I can do with them. So this was one of those illustrations where I just needed to take a breather. Last week I did an ant illustration and that witch's house illustration and I just needed a break. Between commissions, these videos are becoming a lot more work. Support me on Patreon. <coughs> Support me on Patreon. <clears throat> Sorry about that. So this is also one of those illustrations where the sketches are pretty embarrassing. You know, you guys have it good. You can draw all your crappy drawings and your stupid sketches, and you can hide them away from the internet. Me? I get to post these into a video for all of you to see, and it's embarrassing, but here it is. I had a general idea of what I wanted this illustration to be. A girl looking at an egg hatching. Maybe her father or her grandfather was holding an egg, and he was wearing a wristwatch. And I kind of got this pose of the girl on her tippy toes and I really liked how that was looking, but I just couldn't get anything to really look good. I mean, I know that's kind of a struggle for all my illustrations, but you get the picture. What I ended up with was a caveman girl looking at a giant dinosaur egg because they both existed at the same time. And she's on her tippy toes looking at this big egg in excitement to see what comes out. Of course, with her little, well, I say her little dinosaur friend, but it's kind of a big dinosaur friend, huh? If you're wondering what the wristwatch situation is because I made her a caveman, well, I thought because she's a caveman, I could still pull it off by giving her a sundial watch, which I thought was one of those jokes where it's like, okay, a sundial is supposed to be outside in a fixed position because it depends on the sun. So if you wear it on your wrist, it doesn't really work unless you, I guess, find a location to kind of hold it at. Um, but that seems kind of stupid. So I thought it was kind of a joke. So I Googled it when I was doing this commentary and I found out that it's a pretty common thing with steampunk. So again, not the most useful thing because steampunk is just kind of one of those, what, aesthetic or nerdy things that people wear as costume and well, it's, it's not useful. Uh, no offense to you steampunk kids out there, but um, yeah, that's, that's what the wristwatch situation is and I thought that was cute. I kind of worry. Another, another one of those prompts where I just kind of work around the prompt. I'm technically still doing it, but I, I worked around it. But whatever, the illustration's pretty cute, so sue me, huh? <laughs> this is one of those illustrations where I was really scared that the colors were going to get out of control. I don't like illustrations where just about every color in the rainbow is used. I feel like the best illustrations have a limited color palette and like I said, I was concerned that this illustration was headed towards chaos. With her outfit, the egg, and the dinosaur, there were a lot of colors I could have used for each of those and I wasn't sure if I could decide on what colors to settle on. Originally I wanted to make the egg red and the dinosaur could also be red, but I didn't like the idea of her her outfit being red. It just didn't make a lot of sense to me. I wanted it to be yellow. You know, the classic caveman outfit. So when I colored her outfit yellow and I made the egg kind of red, I didn't like how it was pink, so I ended up changing it to yellow. And the dinosaur being a yellowish orangey brown made sense as well, so with the outfit and the egg and the dinosaur all being an orangey yellowy brown color, it all kind of came together. Especially with those elements touching the blue sky, it really helped with complementing them. So in the end, it worked, thankfully. <laughs> and with that, another prompt finished that I'm actually happy with. Let me know in the comments below, what kind of dinosaur is going to come out of this egg? Should they fear for their life? Is it a T-Rex? All right guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.